Okay, so in this video, we'll be discussing about the Fibonacci sequence, uh, which in which we, the Fibonacci sequence is one of the ways in which we could um, emphasize the um, the connection between mathematics and nature. So we have here the Fibonacci sequence. It is defined as a series of numbers where a number is found by adding up two numbers before it. So basically, it is a series. So when you see a series, it is a a collection of numbers in which um, each of those numbers has a certain relationship um, to the uh, preceding or succeeding ter terms um, of it. So for example, our first term is uh, 0. Okay, so let's just have our pen here. So let's just have color red. So 0. Then our second term is 1. If we add this two, so 0 plus 1, we have 1. So that is how we will get the next term. So we add the two numbers before the next term. So for example, if we're going to get the fourth term, so we'll add 1 and 1, so that will be 2. Then we have 2 plus 1, so that we have here another term, which is 3. 3 plus 2, that will be 5. 5 plus 3, that will be 8. 8 plus 5, that will be 13. And 13 plus 8, that will be 21. So on and so forth, up to the nth term. Okay? The nth term. So for us to get the nth term, so we will have a formula here to get the nth term. So our f of n, so that is the nth term of the Fibonacci sequence, is equal to 1 over square root of 5 then 1 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 raised to the power of n okay so there is an actual derivation of this one but to save time so we just go directly to the formula okay so that will be the introduction for the topic of Fibonacci sequence so next we will be trying to uh, grab some of the characteristics of this sequence and also we will uh, try to use this formula in getting the n term of a certain uh, of the Fibonacci sequence. So thank you for watching this video and as always have a good day.